2021 is a big year for electric vehicles. As more and more cars come onto the market, the best choice isn't as obvious. In prior years, only a few choices were available if wanting to purchase an EV, and it finally seems like other car manufacturers are getting on board. EVs are the future, and it will be exciting to see how the market progresses in the next few years. Today we are going to discuss the best electric vehicles to buy in 2021. Now this is not so black and white and it really depends on your priorities of which one will be the right fit for you. The first is price. If a car is already outside of your budget, then there's no need for us even to be looking at the features. I think EVs have a stigma of being expensive and that is not necessarily the case. The most inexpensive Tesla you can buy starts at $38,990, and that isn't even the least expensive EV on the market. The least expensive EV is the Hyundai Iconic Electric, which starts at $33,245 and has a range of 170 miles. This car is definitely on the low end in terms of range. If you spend only about $5,000 more, you could get the Tesla Model 3 standard range, which has a range of 263 miles. On the other end of the spectrum is the most expensive EV, which is the Porsche Taycan, starting at $79,900. This price point is no surprise coming from Porsche, and soon will not be the most expensive EV on the market either, once vehicles like the GMC Hummer EV release, which will start at $89,995. The next category that I think is just as important is the range. The vehicle with the highest range on the market today is the Tesla Model S Plaid Plus at 520 miles. Granted, this will not ship till mid-2022. So the vehicle with the highest range that is able to be purchased today is Tesla's long range Model S at 412 miles. Another component of range is also charging. Most EVs use Electrify America, ChargePoint, or EVGo charging stations. Teslas, on the other hand, have their own charging network. Now let's talk depreciation. Most sedans depreciate about 39% over the first three years. But Tesla's Model 3 actually only depreciated 10.2% in the last three years. But why is the Model 3 holding its value so well? One reason is probably its range. Tesla is still outperforming its competition in terms of range and the lead in battery life has held over the last three years, making their cars still relevant. Most EVs on the market today sit at around 230 miles average-ish, while the Model 3 Standard Range Plus is 263 miles, and three years ago it was 220 miles, which still is about what new cars have today. In my opinion, Teslas will depreciate the least amount over all EVs because they are just so far ahead in range. And because they have such a leg up on their competition, I still think that the Teslas will be relevant in the next three years. Since we are on the topic of money, let's also talk about insurance. So I get this question all of the time, how much do I pay for my car insurance? And well, it's kind of hard to say, but I do pay $110 a month, but that does include two cars. So it's my Tesla Model 3 and then also our 2015 um, Tundra. So we've got both of those cars that are kind of into that amount. And then also our insurance is bundled with our house. So we get a discount there too. So it's just really hard to nail down the exact amount for our Tesla Model 3. Tesla's insurance is also a little bit higher than most sedans because their car is constructed in large pieces instead of small pieces that are constructed together to create the car. So if you get a ding on one of the panels, then it's a huge panel that you then have to replace so that the insurance is a bit pricier than what you would think. According to insure.com, the cheapest EV to insure is for the Hyundai Kona Limited for around $1,479 annual cost. But just keep in mind that this will definitely vary by state and what else you are bundling. So now for all of you SUV people, the next category is cargo space. So there are a ton of SUV EVs on the market like the Audi e-tron, the VW ID.4, the Tesla Model Y and X, but which one has the most cargo space? The car with the most cargo space is the Tesla Model X with a cargo volume of 87.8 feet cubed with seat area. This is similar in size to a Toyota Highlander. 
Similar to buying a gas-powered vehicle, you also want the best warranty. The EV that stands out the most in terms of warranty of the battery is Tesla with eight years or 120,000 miles. Hyundai also is a front runner with 10 years or 100,000 miles and five years of unlimited roadside assistance. Finally, let's talk about the safest EVs. So EVs are usually safer than gas powered vehicles anyways because of their large and heavy battery. So this allows the car to have extra strength because the battery is so heavy, but also because of the low center of gravity because of where the battery is positioned that the car is less likely to roll over. 2021 Tesla models have five stars in relation to frontal crash, side crash, rollover, and then their overall rating. Now Tesla is not the only car that has received five stars because the Chevy Bolt also received five stars and was an IIHS top safety pick for 2020. But the Chevy Bolt did not get five stars in frontal crash like Tesla. Overall, Teslas are one of the top performing EVs on the market. I really am looking forward to the upcoming years to see the new EVs that are going to be entering the market and to see how Teslas will then stack up. If you're interested in learning more about Teslas, I do post Tesla videos every Thursday and Saturday. Also, if you found this video helpful, please give me a like down below. That really helps out my channel. But thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.